the government as a whole, since the, uh, the, the excellence of president, we, we assumed power last year. We have made sure that we, we, we quickly implement the national cyber security uh, policy and strategy. We are providing an enabling environment. We have appointed a national cyber security advisor. We have set up the governor institutional framework. We have proceeded to uh, train and equip uh, the CID, the EOCO, uh, our judges to prosecute cyber crimes. We have made sure that we have set national CERT, the computer emergency response team. As I speak to you now, we are in the process of reviewing the whole cyber capability, the vulnerability of the country of, with, with experts. We, with the assistance of what we call the Glacier Plus, the Council of Europe, we have trained prosecutors as, as cyber forensic experts on what to look out for and how to handle cyber crimes uh, in, uh, um, in a manner different from the traditional brick and mortar crime. So what they have to do in terms of forensics, in terms of how to handle exhibits, in terms of how to handle uh, uh, cyber crime scenes in a different way, totally from what we do in a brick and mortar world, they are being trained to do that. And prosecutors are being trained to do that. The judges are also being taken through the cyber laws. The judges are also being taken through the evidence they must look out for and what they must use in the passing of judgment. So. Um, um, so we are not just proactively educating people, those who fall foul of the, of the law or national cyber laws too, as you rightly said, we are taking care of that. But we'll continue to train more. Uh, uh, we have, we started with Accra and part of the eastern region, we continue to expand it to all the other regions so that in each region we'll have experts who will be able to uh, properly prosecute uh, cyber crimes. Mm -hmm.